Now, Stephen, man. So, okay, I've got to say, I, I've been... I've been following your career. I've seen you. This is your fifth season on, on this show. You recently did a wonderful film called Lifelike. What What is it about this character, Jim Holden, kind of... Holder, sorry. Holden, sorry. Uh, kind of finding that character in the fifth season. Because you're still... This is still really solid stuff. This is a great season. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really proud of this season. Um, you know, with James Holden... My goal from the very beginning was to show the realistic evolution of a leader. You know, I think from the very beginning, we committed to telling this story in, in the most realistic way that we possibly can. You know, these these themes are important that we talk about allegorically, and, um, and we wanted to respect those themes with with realism. And you know, for Holden, he's always had an ethical core. Um, that's always been his anchor, but he was completely out of his depth from the beginning. Um, and we see him evolve through his fear, through his failings, through his stumbles. And he arrives at season five with his feet on the floor because of his humility, uh, which, is a, um, which is really where he finds his strength at this point in the story, uh, after having been through so many different things, you know, seeing the beginning and end of ancient civilizations and be, you know, being witness to genocides and, you know, all these different kinds of things. Um, but to really show um, that there is really no courage without fear and mm. that, that he pushes through that and that's how he becomes who the story needs him to be. Um, and, you know, it, frankly, there's really no way to show that in an earned way without the time, you know, yeah. and really kind of, it's been fun. It's been amazing for me as an actor to just play each step slowly watching this kind of idealistic young man turn into the leader that the system needs him to be. Um, it's been really fun. Yeah, it's really interesting to watch you change because there are, there, they, I, I, especially with this season, not to give anything away, but there's a sure. real level of, I, I I am scared. I am lost, and I need to I need to grow, and I need to continue growing. What has been the most challenging thing for you, storyline wise, this season, without revealing, <laughs> without revealing too much? Exactly. Uh, yeah, I think um, you know. I think the most challenging part was also the most interesting part, which is that this season has a very different structure to it, um, in the same way that the the book book five has a very different structure to it as well. And it was also one of my favorites in the series. Um, they're on their own, you know, you see the Rossi crew kind of splintered out into the system itself. And, you know, at once we see James more confident than he's ever been in his leadership style, his family that has been everything to him, uh, and that has guided him here in many ways with, with their, with their care and concern. Um, he doesn't have them, you know, so it's these kind of twin concerns of knowing what he has unleashed with the rings opening and dealing with that and the specter of what that means towards uh, humanity, but also getting back to his family while all of these insane things are going on. Um, and then kind of balancing that and, sh and still showing that uh, and showing that next step in Holden's evolution in that he's not overcome by his emotions at this point in the story. He, he takes stock of them, but he's not overwhelmed by them. Uh, and just kind of guiding that, that last tricky balance towards the, um, towards the end for what I want Holden to eventually be, which is you know, the leader that we all know that he is. You know? mm. And that um, it's, a, it's delicate, it's like stick in, stick in the landing. You know? um, but, uh, but it was, it's also incredibly fun. You know, the challenge of it is, is the joy, right? I mean, like, um, if it wasn't that, it would, uh, it would be redundant. So like, it's, um, it's, it was really fun, really fun this year. Well, it's, it's also interesting to see you, like you said, you kind of, you are kind of learning to, you, you are a watcher and you're seeing all this going on and you're seeing all these people going through really terrible experiences and learning from that. Where do you hope to go? I, <laughs> You know, I, what I've always hoped for Holden and what I've always hoped I could, I could convey through Holden is, is that he is, a, he's just a man, you know, he's not a, um, he's not a 
super person or anything. He's, he doesn't have those skills from the very beginning. He has to learn them. And it's a messy process that gets him here. Um, so, you know, what I'm hoping to arrive at uh, is, is, is the most complete um, balance between Holden's true ethical core, which is really, I guess, is, is um, the thing that does make him special is that, is that uh, loyalty to that ethical core be matched by his capability. Um, that's where I want him to be. That's, I think, that's Holden at his most complete. Well, that was a great answer. We got to wrap it up. I'm a fan of yours, man. You're a great guy. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I'll see you later, man. All right. Take care, man. (laughs) It's time to let the system know who we are.